This is a demon. It's called the Vinegaroon. It's a vicious hunter that shoots acid from its butt. And thanks to you, it's now my pet. My subscribers asked me to buy a demon and build it a custom home, so that's the plan. Or was. Nope. Okay, fire can't kill demons. Back to plan A. Gotta build her something good because her current setup... Uh, yeah. It started with a tank. Then I cut up some insulation foam to make the walls. I'm thinking volcanic rock would be sweet. So, I used a drill and a wire brush attachment to carve the stone out. Then I had four walls, even though I only needed three. Sick. Now I'm making jagged rock spires with a foam cutter tool. I use a heat gun on here, um, but you know, you should wear a mask because... Well, unless you want to speedrun cancer. Before long, I had a bunch of rocks. Time for some color. It starts off pretty orange, but it dries red. Man, this is gonna look so rad when it's done. You guys are gonna love it. Now I'm mixing in some black to add texture with a dry brush technique. This is how you start to get the details to really pop. Oh yeah, it's starting to come along. Now I'm doing the inverse colors for the stone spires. You know, it'd be pretty amazing if you subscribed right now. It's one button for you and my entire self-confidence on the line. Wow, these are looking spicy. Now it's time to secure the walls with aquarium safe silicone, baby. And hey, after you subscribe, don't be a stranger. Leave a comment. Say hi. All right, as I'm jamming these walls into place, I keep thinking, man, this is a lot of work for a bug. I think she'll like it. Now I'm using expanding foam to fill in the cracks between the uh, edges here. Once it dries, I shave it down to smooth it out and unify the walls. Thinking about naming the demon Bathsheba. What do you guys think? Alright, this is a pretty solid vacuum ad right here. Okay, time to make her primary hide. Who's seen Lion King? I'm thinking something like Pride Rock. Except, you know, evil. Not bad, not bad at all. But then I had this ingenious idea. I decided to fill in the cracks with bright orange sand for a lava flow effect. Oh man, it's gonna look so cool. There's no way, absolutely zero chance, this is gonna look stupid. Okay, it looks stupid. So I ripped it out, stripped it, and repainted it. I like this better. How about you? All right, it's time to place our stone spires. The substrate soil will cover the foam bottoms here. Speaking of soil, let's mix some. This cocoa fiber brick expands to five times its size with just a bit of water. Hope I don't use too much water. Okay, I use too much water, but topsoil to the rescue. Bathsheba needs a deep, moist substrate to build her burrows. Yeah, just pile it in there. Nice and deep for Bathsheba. Time to take things up a notch with some blood red colored sand as a top dressing. No measurements required, you just kind of do what your heart feels here. Mix it up, yep, knead the dough. Now we gotta bake it at 300 degrees for about 40 minutes or so. Just call me Martha Stewart. Now there's one final thing missing, one piece that will draw it all together. I can't seem to find the bones of our fallen enemies. Oh, here they are. Just look at these things. Are you ready?
I added a handful of isopods to serve as the cleanup crew. I call them Carapax, and they are scrambling to find shelter because they know she is coming. Bathsheba immediately sensed the Carapax and wanted to feast, but I can't have her devouring her new friends, so let the real hunt begin. The hunt was on, and the cricket began to climb for higher ground, seeking safety. But Bathsheba has plans of her own. While she has eight eyes, they are entirely useless to her. Instead of eyes, she uses her long whip-like legs called antenniform legs to navigate and find prey. It's all over. There is no escape. She uses powerful pincers to crush and tear open the cricket. She then liquefies her meal and drinks it like a smoothie. What kind of sick person enjoys watching this? When the meal was finished, she retreated to her cave. Despite her appearance, Bathsheba is harmless to humans. She may be from hell, but she's my little angel. <laughs>